Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Und damit willkommen zurück zu The Walking Dead. Ich muss gerade kurz unterbrechen, sonst haben wir keine Zeit mehr zu antworten. Ja, wir sind auf dem Weg zur Farm. Äh, nee, nicht zur Farm, zur Molkerei von den beiden Gebrüdern hier. Den St. John's Gebrüdern. Und ja. Mal sehen, wie es weitergeht. Äh, geniale Idee. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Wir arbeiten zusammen. We work together. Plus we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Gilt dieses Angebot auch für den Rest von uns? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Hmm. Hmm. Gute Frage. Hm, wir sollten ihnen helfen, so gut es geht. They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. So, dann sollen wir also diesen Elektrozaun hier bei den super netten Leuten ablaufen. Aber ich bin mir echt nicht sicher. Das Ganze ist mir irgendwie suspekt. Die sind einfach zu nett. Das ist irgendwie sehr merkwürdig. Sehr, 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 sehr merkwürdig. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. I'll bet. Darf ich versuchen, sie zu reparieren? Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. 
Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Das machen wir. Genau, wir reparieren die gute alte Schaukel hier. Brauchen wir nur ein Brett für. Kann der eigentlich auch schneller laufen? Nein, kann er nicht. Kann er hüpfen? Nein. Wozu auch? Ähm, können wir hier den Zaun angucken? Nein. Können wir hier sonst irgendwas angucken? Wir können mit Mark quatschen, aber... Ah. Der gute Lattenzaun. Da können wir doch bestimmt so ein Brett mal klauen, oder? Hm. Hm, hier, Brett. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Dann nehmen wir doch die Säge. Hm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Oh, wie cool. Also haben wir schon mal ein Brett. Ein Hitman Brett Hart oder wie er sich auch immer genannt hat. Und. Man, this fence is fantastic. We'll do whatever you want to help keep it running. Well, clearing that perimeter is gonna be a big help. Just let me know when you're ready. Jo, jo. Ähm, ich will nur zum ersten Seil haben, mein Freund. Der Andy. Ich guck mir den Generator an. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Verständlich, mein Freund, verständlich. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Äh, ich versuche nur zu helfen. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Der ist äh, merkwürdig. Da ist doch irgendwas faul im Stall. Hier stimmt was nicht. Die sperren hier Leute ein oder irgend sowas. Da bin ich mir 100% sicher. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Das Gelände zu sichern wird einiges bringen. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. Okay, aber wir können ja hier nicht mehr viel machen. Warte mal, ich kann das Brett da dran tun. Aber uns fehlt noch ein Seil. Ein super, super Seil. So, warte mal. The board is good, but I need some rope. Jo. Das kriegen wir bestimmt beim Zaun ablaufen, oder? Da passiert wieder was total... Äh, furchtbares. Aber ich darf erst hineingehen, oder? Ja. Ja, ich darf hineingehen und darf mir bestimmt ein Brett suchen. Äh, ein Brett. Ein Seil. Da haben wir eins. This rope is perfect for the swing. Perfekt. Und dann gucken wir doch gleich mal hier. Das Dairy hat viele Ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day. The world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Die sind einfach zu freundlich. Da muss irgendwas faul sein dran. I can hardly wait for dinner. Da muss doch irgendwas faul sein. Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. 
Hm. Der Hof sieht auf jeden Fall sehr toll aus. Die Familie hat einen amazing Job, um diese Stadt zu halten. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Alte Angewohnheiten. What happened to the rest of you, Stan? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well. We lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. Irgendwas stimmt hier nicht. Wie viele Zimmer gibt es in deinem Haus? Sag es mir sofort. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Um, ich bin nur neugierig. Oh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Null problemo. Gut, dann reparieren wir mal schnell die Schaukel. Und gehen dann danach den Zaun ab. Aber ich habe echt das Gefühl, dass hier irgendwas geschehen wird. All right. This shouldn't be too tough. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Annie and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Ja, ja. Nun gut. Dann wollen wir uns mal auf die Tour begeben. Es lackt hier auch gerade ganz schön. Keine Ahnung warum. Am PC kann es ja jetzt eigentlich nicht mehr liegen. Hm. Ich schau nach dieser Folge mal. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yo. Wie viele Waffen habt ihr denn? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Der Zaun hält die Bock auf. Sind wir die ersten Gäste? Lass uns, uns die Umzäunung reparieren. Sind wir die ersten Gäste hier? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Hmm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? Okay, dann komm, lass uns mal die Umzäunung reparieren. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Das ist einfach zu merkwürdig hier. Irgendwas ist da ganz und gar nicht äh, nicht gut. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. 
What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. Er ist ein Stück Scheiße. Irgendwie kriegen wir schon hin. Ich versuche zumindest höflich zu sein. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Yeah, like this one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Wir gucken erst mal hier dieses Andy Licht said, an. when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Okay. Zombie Maybe fire. The Saint John boys are using this guy for target practice. Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Hmm. Disgusting. Das war der Typ von eben mit der Armbrust wahrscheinlich. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Ja, sie braucht Leute, die sie verteidigen. Ja, ist so. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Hmm. <lacht> Wir können diesen Ort wegnehmen. Die Leute just ein Land der Inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart. Just like everywhere else. Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. Hm, er sieht so aus, als ob er noch leben würde oder zumindest gleich den Kopf, <lacht> Kopf aufrichtet. Ey, lass los, du. Schlingel. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. Think they fused together. Jörg. Na dann, ab damit. <lacht> Komm. You never get used to the smell, do you? <lacht> nope. <lacht> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Später, ich habe auch Hunger. Konzentriere dich einfach auf die Aufgabe. Focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <lacht> Nussperlocke. Hier passiert auch was. Ja, klar, aber. Äh, Kuh. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Damn! Alter! Genau, wir schieben einfach den Trecker. Ja, hilf mir doch mal hier. Achso, nee, er hat hier den Pfeil im Arm. Er kann uns ja gar nicht helfen. Ich guck mal hier gerade. Hm, da mal gucken. Genau, das Ding locker. Au, au, au. So, und jetzt können wir den doch mit Sicherheit schieben, oder? Natürlich können wir ihn nicht schieben. Ich guck noch mal. Gut, hier kann ich nichts mehr tun. Äh, ja, dann guck ich schon mal geradeaus und äh, hol da noch mal hin. Ja, da 
Glaub, Hier. Oh, Fuck. Dann guck ich mal nach vorne. Zack. Ah. Oh. Ja, machen wir. Was wollen die denn? Es muss Robin Hood sein. Äh, ja, dann hier, komm, weg mit dir. So, aber da geht die Post hier. Ich habe schon eine von euch geschossen. Ja. Oh, Mann. How many of those things did we push down? We had an agreement. Komm, weg mit dem alten Typ hier. Na toll. Äh, hier. Ins. Ins. Ins Kuh. Äh. Oh Gott, ey. You okay? Yeah. Oh Mann. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh nein. Er wird immer schneller! So ein Pfeil würde ihn ja nicht... Ach man, das ist nicht wahr, ne? Oh! Oh, wir sind gerade das erste Mal gestorben. Uhuhu, anklicken, um fortzufahren. Gut, nochmal weg mit ihm. Ich glaube, wir waren einfach zu weit hinten. Zaun wirft, aber diesmal sind wir sind wir schneller. Wahrscheinlich werden wir gleich vom Pfeil getroffen. Lalala. Nein. Jetzt haben wir es geschafft. Ich kann nicht lesen, was sie brüllen. Gut, wir haben Glück gehabt, wir Drecksicke. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. <laughs> oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Ooh, Bandits? action. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. 
take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Oh. Ach, ich glaube, das wird cool hier werden. Obwohl wir natürlich uns irgendwie der Banditen entledigen müssen. Den Lattenzaun, den Generator. Aber jetzt würde ich ja dann doch gerne mal irgendwie eigentlich in die Scheune gucken wollen. Darf ich das jetzt? Okay. Es interessiert keinen. Ich will da reingucken in den Stall. <lacht> ja, aber guck doch lieber erstmal da rein. Wer weiß, was da drinnen lauert oder was die da sammeln. Ja, Oh, hat er recht. Da hat er recht, der gute Lee. Gucken wir uns da vorne den Heuballen auch nochmal an. Der sieht bestimmt total anders aus als diesen, den wir eben hatten. Aha, ein Maisfeld. Interessant. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Das wäre wahrscheinlich praktisch. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Ah, für die Kuh. So, und ich würde sagen, wir gucken uns das Ganze in der nächsten Folge nochmal genauer an hier. Also, bis dann. Tschüss.